Hey, all viewers and viewers, and my name is John Red Strategist, and welcome back to Fez. This is episode 15 now. I'm just block recording these episodes like crazy. I'm probably going to end up playing through the whole game in, you know, just one or two sittings, basically. But, um, you know, we're back here. We had the official end of the game in the last episode, but it's not over yet. Because we now got the sunglasses, which enable us to do this. To go into first person mode. We can't actually move or anything whilst we're in this mode. So it's just about looking at things. But, hopefully, this is going to allow us to find some of the secrets that we previously missed. So we're here, of course, in the village at the very beginning. Now, almost everything in this village we've actually already cleared out. Except for one room, the boiler room, which apparently has something in it. So we just need to maybe locate our way back there and try and remember what was in. That's not the berm. That's not the boiler room in there. Um, is it... Hold on. No, that's not it, is it? It's possibly up here somewhere. That's the boiler room. Okay. So, can we go into first person here? We can. Okay, hold on. Um, what we probably want to do, actually, is maybe look around like this. So maybe we want to be kind of in front of the boiler, perhaps. Like this, maybe? Does this reveal anything? I don't know. God, it's so weird being able to actually go into first person. So peculiar. <laughs> That's such a weird dimension to the game, it does. Oh, is there something up there? I mean, I don't really see all that much. I mean, there's mm, a couple of interesting posters that are coloured instead of... Um, Instead of, uh, instead of, instead of, instead of, instead of, um, what am I trying to say? Instead of being sort of black and white like the rest of them. Was it possible to actually, uh, jump up onto that pipe up there? I don't think it was. Now there's, hmm. There's apparently a secret in here, but I'm not entirely sure what it'll be. Um, something to do with this, maybe? Because that's like a big cube picture. I mean, you know, most of the episodes from here on out are just going to be me trying to sort of locate my way around trying to maybe find out how I get to certain secrets, things like that. Okay, um, I'm trying to remember how do I get to a next area from here. I can't actually recall. Was it down that I need to go? I can't actually recall, like I say. There's the old man there. Was there anything below? I think there is. Isn't Whoa! Yes, there is. Okay. Never mind, we need to find our way down to over here, so we can get down to this area. Uh, nothing around here, is there? Just checking in case there's any secret doors. Alright, let's um, head through just the next area that this goes to, which went to here, and there was nothing else there, so it's just a matter of finding our way back to the central area, I do think, and then seeing if we can locate some secrets from there. So, there may be a fair bit of jump cutting um, in this episode, and over the coming episodes, in fact, ladies and gents. Okay, right, first up, we're back here, in the village of the big-headed people. Now, what can we see in here, if anything? There's something with the throne. Not sure what, though. Hold on. Maybe it's up above. Hold on, hold on. That's not... no. <laughs> That's not going to help us, is it? Uh, what am I looking for here? God, that's loud. If I can really even hear myself. In behind there? Hmm. Not entirely sure. No, that's just that. Okay, it's not going to be that easy, is it? To find these secrets. Hold on a second. Hold your horses. Wait a minute, if I go behind here... Hmm, there's like symbols on the wall behind that. You can probably see it like that, but what does that mean? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure turn around again like this. So you can see him from this angle. What if I go like this? See, now you can see that. There's definitely a secret in here, because it says so, but the question is, how does one unlock it? Not entirely sure. What if I go like this? Oh, what am I doing? I'm pressing the wrong button completely. Huh. Okay, I'm not entirely sure about that one. Hmm. Okay, there was a secret area 
in one of the rooms off this area. Yeah, okay, the classroom. Right. Let's have a look and see if we can find it. Uh, is it was it in this one? Okay, this was the classroom. So there's something in here. But what exactly? I'm supposed to use the um, first person to spot it? If only I could move the camera around, but I can't really, can I? Is it maybe something to do with this? Huh. I don't know. Wait a fucking minute. Hold your horses. Does that look like... Hmm. That symbol up there, towards the top left on that board, that looks like somewhere we've been before. If you can really see it too well. It's like that obelisk that had all those blinking lights on it. What did that even mean? I'm not entirely sure. Huh. Okay. I feel like this in here might be a clue to that, but... Like, what's on that board there? It's like another obelisk with a thing on it. I don't know if there's supposed to be lines of text above it, though. God. Okay, I thought this was going to help me easily find the secrets, but so far, it doesn't feel like it was giving me much of a clue. Okay, we're in this area, the spooky place. What about this owl over here? Because there's a secret here. Maybe if we look directly at the owl, does it do anything? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know about that. Owls creep me out. Yes. Yes, they do. What's the secret here? That's just looking at the wall there, but... Hmm. I don't entirely know. So what exactly do the sunglasses show me? Hmm, I don't... I am not altogether certain. I feel like this is supposed to be revealing something, but... So far, I haven't really seen how it helps. Okay, I found my way back to this area, which leads to that windmill that I was talking about before, which is a whole path that I definitely haven't been through yet. Um... I can remember which way it was to the windmill, though. That wasn't it up there, was it? Um, no, that was that. There's fucking black holes here as well. Oh, it's this way. Okay, right. Hold on. Need to go through here. So this was that area where it had those weird platforms. I could not work out for the life of me how this worked, unless the black holes have now disappeared. Because if they've disappeared, that'll make things so much more fucking... In uh, Easier, that is. Right. Go over there. Ooh. And up again. Ooh, God, just about got that. Right. So, uh, what we need to do is hmm, turn the one over there. Oh, wait a minute. That one's actually already... Hold on. Hold on, I've got it. I've got it, I think. I believe I have it, ladies and gents. There we go. Yeah, the black hole's being here before actually made this really hard to get through, but now this actually makes it easier, doesn't it? Mm. Twizzle the camera around. Right, let's go up here, because apparently there's stuff that we haven't actually found yet. Okay, oh yeah, there's a thing that I just saw up at the top of the windmill, which was uh, glowing nice and happily up here. Here we are. There's a locked door. Hold on, we'll go up here first. Oh, owl! Can I talk to you? Hexahedron, octahedron, dodecahedron. Okay. Her sacred geometry. I'm sorry? Did I just... find a secret? Well, that was a bit weird. I don't know what that was about. Can I not talk to you, bird? No, apparently not. Right, let's go up to the top of the windmill then. There's not a door, is there on top? No, not by the looks of it. So it looks like we can go into the windmill at some point. Downstairs, obviously. So is that... Yeah, that's all the uh, cube bits. It's just a matter of opening this thing. Using our key. <laughs> okay. Through you go, then, Gomez. Oh. This is a small area that links through to another one. Oh. What was that? Oh. Hello. We have to sort of keep on top of this thing. Is it going to turn around to this one? There's going to be a door. Yes, there is. Let's go. 
Aha, you see? And now there's a chest and more pieces in here. Well, the chest's right here, which is good. Is this another treasure map or something? Full cube, I'll take it. I'll take it indeed. Nice. Did I get another anti-cube from that owl, though? I'm not actually, I'm not actually entirely sure. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but uh, sure. That's the door I came through, isn't it? Can I climb up here? No, I mean, that's everything. Oh, wait a minute. There is another area linking through to the area with the windmills. Okay. With the windmill, rather. Right, we're back in here. Uh, where's the doorway? It's over there. Right, let's go. As long as... No flipping... Thingy bobber suddenly starts spawning. Black holes. So where is this other door? Oh, he's literally right there. Okay. <laughs> Completely forgot. Let's go. Looks like we're going through to another big area back here with... Another windmill, perhaps? Okay. Yeah, another windmill up there. Right, what do we got? Nothing on this side. Cube bits in here are more branching off pathways. Which is good. There's a pivot. Oh, is there something here? Or is this just... Hmm. Don't know about that. Okay, um... Right, we need to go to the pivot, I guess. Yep. Ooh, just about got that. Oh, careful. Go on, go mess up you go, lad. Right, there's a door up above on this platform here, but uh, I don't think we're going to be able to quite get that, are we? Right, go across there, that's it. Now, I think I mm, might get what needs to be done here. We turn this around. Ooh. I'm trying to think. There's a sort of... There's a gap there. Ha! Can I jump up to that? No, I can't. Mm. Oh, bollocks. Not what we wanted to quite do, is it? Oh, there is another door around here, though. But that looks like it goes off to another area over there. So before we do that... Okay, hold your horses. Aha! Another piece. There we go. See? Oh, I get what's happening here. I get it. I get it. I balls it up. If I just go over here, I need to turn this round so that the ladder is facing the other way. So then I can get on, on top of everything. Obviously, I can go through that door over on the left, as well as the uh, one sort of in the middle. There you go. See? Like that. Right, that's one. If we get another one, we'll have a full cube. Yeah, there we are. Got it. Full cube for me. 26 gold cubes now. We're doing quite well. We're slowly but steadily getting all of them. I guess a lot of the anti-cubes you'll find in secret areas. Right, this goes through to another little area of its own by the looks of it. I think this isn't a hub that we're going to here. This might just be a dead end area, so... Yeah, because it's quite small. Let's have a look. Oh, oh god, it's these types of platforms where they sort of turn around, which is what you need to look out for. Okay. Urgh. Oh god. Urgh. Ooh, I balls that up. Try that again, shall we? Okay, get on. Oof, right, we're on top of that one. Uh oh, oh, why did I do that? That was stupid of me. Can I wait for it? Oh, actually, maybe we should do it from this side. Hold on. Oh, can we get it from there? No, if we can, actually. Hmm. Okay, go. Around here. Go. Careful. That one turn. Oh, come on. Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, we can't jump onto that. Okay, hold on. Maybe we have to do it from a different angle. Here, maybe? Okay, um, try it from this angle. Okay, go on there. Right. Oh yeah, then you can get up onto here, like this. Oof, there we are, like that. God, it's like you have to turn the camera around fast enough. Okay, right, what's this up here? Another pivot of some sort? Ah, what does this do? Hello? Oh! Oh, that's clever. Okay. Pulling that out. You have to get down. There we are. Get it before it uh, disappears. So is that everything in this area? That's everything in this area. Okay. 
simple enough, straightforward. Right, let's go get moving on. So back to here, and then we go through that other door, which is on one of the central columns. Or the central column, however many there were. Right. Yeah, it's over there. Oh god, careful. Oh, black holes, hello. Too late now, son. Alright, go through to this area and let's see what the deal is. So you see, we're getting more and more stuff. But what do we got? A big rotating cube type thing, which I'm guessing we need to use to get up to where that pivot is. Okay, let's go. Alright, what's this one going to do? Oh, okay. I guess we're constantly rotating this. Hmm. I guess. Ah, hello, what's that about? So like opening up an area or something. Wait a minute. So it looks like that. What's that about? Hmm. It's just a entrance of nothingness. Is there just a giant cube in here? Oh, that's peculiar. So what's the point of the rotating thing then? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, as to oh, it's turning that. I see. Hold on. Let me just have a look at what that's like. No. Nope. Is there a sort of like a internal thing? Oh god, we're like behind the pivot there, aren't we? Hmm. That's strange, isn't it? There's gotta be a way up there. And it's something to do with this puzzle. Um Hold your horses. Gotta work this out. What happens if I turn that round that direction? Turn it around twice. Then maybe do the same with this, perhaps? Let's have a look. So turn this around twice as well. Hmm. How does this help me? I'm not entirely sure. Because it's just turning this around, but... Huh. I am not altogether sure how I get to that up there. That's peculiar. There's some kind of puzzle here, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. Hmm. Maybe you get him facing the door? Or well, the same way as the door, perhaps? If we go up... Maybe that's it, I don't know. How's that look? I don't feel like that helps. Or do you have to get in the same angle as the windmill? Hold on. Oh, careful. Good lord. Try not to kill yourself there, Gomez. I say to him, as though I'm not the one controlling him. Okay, let's just try that. Now that's facing the windmill, and that's not doing anything. Um, so what's the deal? I just keep rotating it round to certain sides until eventually something changes. I mean, usually it gives you a sort of a hint when something's... Oh god, there's a door right there. Hello. Oh my god. There we are. Found it. Took me a while, but I got there. Oh, another big internal space. I'm guessing this might have a door that takes us out on top of that windmill area, perhaps. And then we might be able to find out what it is we need. What's this over here? Ooh, okay. We've got, like, things that propel you up in the air, apparently. Maybe we go up onto that one, up to the left, like this. Aha, you see. Then up to the next one. Ooh, careful. I mean, there's nothing else actually in here in terms of cube pieces or anything, so, oh god, careful. Okay, that's where we need to go. Yeah, yeah, we need to go like this. Get ourselves centred underneath that ladder. And there we are, see? So who is the pro? Hold on, just check in case there's any secret walls that take you back anywhere. Always worth just having a look. Ah! There we go, see? We can jump up. Boom! Got it. 
So this should be this area kind of cleared out, right? Yeah, that whole path is now done. Okay, so we have got a lot more completed, and there's still this over here. There's a secret with a path on it. What I'm thinking is we go back to there, maybe go and check out the waterfall over there. Okay, let's go. Hopefully this does take me back to where I actually need to be. That's what I'm wondering. Let's see now. Oh no, this takes me back to here, doesn't it? Which is a completely different zone to where I actually want to be. Okay, hold on. If I go through the gate again... Oh. This one? I'm hoping this takes me back to where I think it will. I'm pretty sure it will. Let's just have a look. Yes! This is where we need to be, isn't it? So we need to be finding the route to the waterfall place. Wherever that is. It's not it over there. Where is it? Um, is that it in the background over there? Can't quite tell. Because the friggin' landscape's in the way. Was that the... No, it's the Hall of Doors. Oh no, that is the right way. Wait, I know. Oh, I know which door it is. Yes. Hold on. Need to go up here. That is correct. Just avoid those black holes and then get in there. Alright, so let's check out this waterfall thing. Because this is where the secret was. Oh look, there's the obelisk. With strange squiggly lines. There's an owl up there as well, actually. Incidentally. Um, hold on. We can go up to where the owl is. Oh, careful. And uh, talk to the owl, perhaps? What's up? Owl? The many are one. The one is many. Okay. Well, special thanks to the person who let me know. Maybe I have to find several owls throughout the um, throughout the world of Fez. And they'll all collectively then give me an achievement of some kind. So, if I do this... Right. Oh, but how do I access the door, though? I don't get it. Like, there's first person. But now what? What do I do from here? Is there something that I have to do with the waterfall? I'm not entirely sure. Now, Dot, are you trying to tell me something about the bombs, maybe? Okay, hold on. No, get to get up there, Gomez. Flipping neck. Flipping neck, lad. Right, you go up here. There's got to be a secret to this. Um, can you do this? Can you pick this up, take it over there, and then just throw it at the waterfall, maybe? I mean, it doesn't feel like it really works, does it? Hmm. There's got to be something with this waterfall, but how do... How does one kind of do anything with it? Also, is this where the Rosetta Stone is connected to? Because I think I may have got it in terms of the wrong location. This might be it. Hold on. Yes! Look, there's a fox jumping over a dog up there. This is the Rosetta Stone. This is what I was getting confused about, because I had it confused with another area. Oh, careful. Yeah, that's where we need to go. Right, so this should tell me the language of Fez. Right, hold on. We are going to have to write this down. So I'm going to do some um, kind of... I'm going to have to sort of do some, some decoding. It's apparently what it is. I think, does it matter what direction you look at it from? Oh. Well, it changes. Hmm. So is that... Hold on. Let me just work this out. So apparently you have to look at it sort of 90 degrees to the right. So... Right, hold on. If I get this down. So that with the dot in the middle, that looks like... Well, it's a three-letter word. So is that the quick brown fox? This one that we're looking at here? Feels like maybe it is. Um... And then there's like a sort of shaded in P with a line next to it, like that. So I'm going to suggest, is that the? So I think it's just one of those things like you have to sort of decipher maybe a few keywords and then perhaps it all sort of comes together. So the, then it's like a, um, hold on, I just work this out. The, 
I'm guessing this is the queue, this next one. Okay, actually, it may be more interesting to see me actually do this off... Well, not see me, but for me to do this off-camera. So, uh, rather than <laughs> you lot having to watch me sort of fuck around with it. Yeah, like I say, I had to basically go online to uh, get this hint. Because I probably would not have worked this out. I mean, it's, it's one of those things, when you see the fucking clues, it seems so obvious. And yet, at the time when you first see it, with the fox jumping over the dog, you just think to yourself... It's just, it's just a couple of animals. <laughs> okay, right. Um, I need to check, actually, how long I've been recording for. So, uh, one second, everybody. I'm just going to jump cut again. Okay, right. I'm back in. Yeah, I've been recording for a good while there, about 25 minutes or so. So, I reckon this is a good place to end episode 15. So, hope you enjoyed that, everybody. Like I say, we're going back through and seeing how many of these secrets we can actually find. I'm starting to feel like some of these secrets may be very fucking well hidden. Let me just put it that way. Because... I don't know. Like, some of them I've tried to go to so far, I feel like I just haven't been able to identify what they are. And, like, what do I do with the waterfall as well? Because there's a door behind that, but how do I get through into it? Well, I'll probably try and work it out off camera and maybe then see if I can activate it in the next episode. In the meantime, like I say, off camera, I'm going to try and work out this Rosetta Stone thing and try and work out this language. So, thank you then, everybody, for joining me. Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. In the meantime, of course, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. But in the meantime, I'm going to sign off now. Goodbye, everybody. There you go. See, apart from leg day, it's also uh, work on arms day. Well, it looks like we're going up there, but... Yeah, we can go up there. That's probably where we have to go. But there's, there's something knocking around here. What's that? Oh, just let it go. Oh, it's the stage area. Yes. We definitely want to go down here. But I still feel like some of these might come to life. See, look, there's ones that have bases, but there's a couple over there that don't have bases. Which makes me think they're pretending. Should we try this out? Experiment with them. Aha! See? Fucking knew it! Oh, God. Good Lord. Good Lord. They reacted very fast. Yeah. <laughs>